The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge today joined the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall at the annual Commonwealth Day service that is coming back to its normal glory after two years. The annual multi-faith service is a staple part of the British royal calendar. Her Majesty the Queen is the head of the Commonwealth that is a political association of 54 member states from Africa, Asia, the Americas, Europe and the Pacific. The current Commonwealth of Nations was formally constituted by the London Declaration in 1949 that recognized King George VI as head of the Commonwealth. The then Princess Elizabeth was on her first ever Commonwealth tour when her father, King George VI, died in 1952 and she became the Queen. Following her father's death, the Commonwealth leaders recognized Queen Elizabeth II as the head of the Commonwealth and she remained the head since then. In 1959, the Queen made available the former Royal Palace of Marlborough House for Commonwealth purposes and in 1965, it became the headquarters of the newly formed Commonwealth. Last week, Buckingham Palace announced that due to mobility issues, the 95 years old monarch will not be attending the event physically but will watch the service from Windsor Castle where she she has decided to stay permanently. The theme for Commonwealth Day 2022 is delivering a common future, which highlights how the 54 member countries in the Commonwealth family are innovating, connecting and transforming to help achieve goals like fighting climate change, promoting good governance and boosting trade. Marking the day, Clarence House created a new scholarship for Commonwealth students, Climate Action Scholarship for students from small island nations. The new scholarship will support students from small island nations to tackle climate change, helping them develop the skills and knowledge to address the effects of climate change in the countries they come from. Moving towards the Duchess of Cambridge's attendance, this was Catherine's sixth attendance at the annual event. She first attended in 2015. For the today's service, the Duchess of Cambridge chose a blue Catherine Walker coat. She paired it with a matching hat from Lock and Come, with her diamond and sapphire earrings and a matching pendant necklace, Rupert Sanderson Mallory pumps, and Jimmy Chukalis the clutch. Next, we will see the royal couple at the St. Patrick's Day Parade on Thursday. If you find the video interesting, please press the like button below and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more royal news.